Hello there, Taurus, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing good, of course, and if not, well, hopefully you'll do a lot better after the reading. If this resonates for you, Taurus, and sun, moon, rising, and Venus. All right, Taurus, let's find out what spirit wants you to know when it comes to your situation. Don't stop taking action. You know, Taurus, you have done a wonderful job when it comes to healing the past. Now, if you've been looking for a sign to take action, or if you're ready, yes, you are. You're having some type of uh, awakening that is impactful and, and, and also powerful for you. So don't be afraid to take action. You may need to stay focused. You may need to um, possibly even slow down so that you're not missing uh, something or someone that you want to take action on here. So let's get a little bit more with taking action for Taurus. See, Taurus, I feel like I should just get that other one too. Big happy changes compromise. <laughs> we don't even have that thing about for, uh, forgiveness. Okay. So let's get more with this compromise. You know, Taurus, I feel that you really are ready for the next level, the next phase. Um, you know, maybe possibly taking all that you've learned and really implement in your life in a way that you feel, um, <clears throat> strong and empowered. Okay. So we got the devil. Okay. So we got this compromise the devil ace of cups and three of swords okay there may be a need Taurus that we may need to really look at what's worthy of your time and your energy because oh my goodness this one's coming out okay yes those big happy changes because you're not compromising yourself when it comes to health and healing because the devil and the three of swords I mean ace of cups is a card of healing <clears throat> it's a card of uh something brand new because you have released the past. So there may be a need here where you may need to use discernment, right? Don't be afraid to take action right now on things that you feel may even impede your progress. There could even be someone that could be really um, obsessed about you, but you know, let's not focus too much on that. We have the devil card, we have ace of cups and the three of swords. Three of swords speaks about heartbreak. Ace of cups speaks about self-love though, right? So, hmm, what's sandwiched between two very challenging cards is the ace of cups. Let's get more about this too for Taurus. <clears throat> now, I feel that Taurus, you just need more confirmation that yes, you've met, you've been making progress here because look, it's working out in your favor with this big happy changes. Helpful people, be open to helpful people here. Okay, so you may need to compromise. You may need to let go of control <laughs> or how something's going to happen here. God, the angels, your ancestors, they're sending you helpful people. You may need to relinquish your control, though, <laughs> of maybe having to do everything on your own, right? Because, yes, there is something that you're taking a lead on, but there's also something where, <clears throat> you know, others are being guided to help you. It's for some type of new opportunity that you're walking into um, because spirit knows that you have felt something was really maybe even <clears throat> unjustified, unfair, hard to deal with. Take your time though, Taurus, because what you've got sandwiched between, again, two difficult cards is renewal, self-love. Okay, there's a card, there's a, woo, 
There's a card that wants to come out with this Three of Swords. So let's see. <clears throat> mm hmm. No. We're not going to give into it anymore, Taurus. There's something about really releasing and letting go. Maybe we even feel some hate. Maybe we feel some anger. You know, that's all normal emotions here. Well, whatever we felt, we're not going to give it into, we're not giving into it anymore, right? We're not compromising ourselves to allow something to hold you back, especially when it comes to fulfillment. Maybe something didn't go your way, but spirit wants to prove something to you when it comes to what you have done in the past and what you're relieving yourself from and what you're coming into because you deserve it. What else? All right, Taurus, I, I had to pause and make sure that I was turning off something off in the background that I didn't realize was playing. Oh my gosh. Anyhow. Let's find out what else you need to know when it comes to your situation with some, uh, you know, uh, uh, okay. Uh, there was healing music that was playing in the background. Hopefully it's not going to pick up to where it's like bombarding this, the <clears throat> video, but maybe that's it. Uh, Taurus, I feel music is essential to healing, uh, to just feeling good, right? So accept heaven's help. You prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. Open your heart, first and foremost. Uh, heaven, excuse me, heaven is so, um, closely associated with the Ace of Cups, okay? So we are getting some type of healing, fulfillment here. Okay, so let's get more about, um, you know, getting out of the way here, accepting heaven's help for Taurus. Don't stop. Okay. You're not meant to stop here. Okay. We may be feeling a little stuck. We may be even questioning some obstacles, right? Don't let an obstacle intimidate your progress and don't stop believing that heaven is helping you. There is something that I feel that you're waking up to or hearing some type of powerful calling. Okay. There's another card that wants to come out with that. Don't stop. So you may be feeling a powerful calling. What wants to come out? Okay, look at this. Don't stop increasing your standards and expect and expect more for yourself. Don't settle. I really see justice with this compromise. Like you're not compromising to settle. In fact, you're coming into a place where others are attracted to wanting to help you. You're really aligned with something, you know, of a soul's calling here. Don't forget that first and foremost. But this situation where the devil and the three of swords, you know, don't get caught in the middle of something here where you could feel stuck and like you're settling. Increase your standards. Say no. Say no to something that may even be tempting with that devil and the uh, heartbreak card because we may be wanting to fill up something here. But then we have to undo something, especially if it's not aligned <laughs> with what's happening here with that big happy change because the devil isn't something that's positive. So whatever you're doing, it is working, okay? You may just need to, um, you know, I'm getting something about, there's something about like night of, night of wands energy coming through where it's like you're taking action courageously, right? You can feel the fear, but it's almost like the fear now has fueled you. 
because maybe we're even channeling some anger from this hurt or something here into that. But you prayed for help and you need to be assured that heaven is helping you. The devil has no power here. <laughs> oh, look what's standing in between, you know, you. It's a heaven. Heaven is standing in between you. Love is standing between you and this negative energy to protect you. Don't stop believing that you're healing from a, a really bad situation, whether it was a long time ago or recent. What else? You're also, I'm getting this message too, so take it if it resonates, but you're also meant, you're also not meant to feel like the underdog, if that makes any sense. You're being helped. Oh my gosh, we got another, like, okay, really, only three cards have come out of this deck. Accept heaven's help. You're being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you, even if you don't see the results yet. It's coming. The Ace of Cups, you can be assured of that. It is coming. And, and look at this. Heaven is helping you. Helpful people, see? This is another key point, though. We have to be open to the people that you have right now, and that's coming in that want to offer help or that maybe possibly you could um, communicate, right, that you need help. You, you got to be willing to be yielding right? Especially if you're a control freak in a sense, or you like to do it all, you know, but you can't do everything by yourself all the time. You got to chill out, relax and let heaven take the lead. Yes. Heaven has got your back here. Okay. Uh, what else? Oh my gosh, Taurus. Wow. You've got a lot of protection going on here. I told you, I told you what is standing in between you and the devil or this negative energy. Okay. Heaven <laughs> protection, you and your loved ones and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. So don't worry. This is telling you that you are secure no matter what is going on make a decision feeling stuck. Okay. This could be this double energy too. Cause it might be, we might be letting something build up here, right? Well, the answer is no. <laughs> I feel <laughs> anyhow, feeling stuck or indecisive, listen to your intuition and make a decision. Let's get more too about, um, make a decision here to help Taurus. Okay, and then I feel like this card wants to show itself. We have the magician. Stay focused here. Okay, what eliminate something or someone or maybe a few people that you feel could be bombarding on your self-confidence or your focus on achieving a goal here? Because we do have the magician. And also be proud of something about yourself, Taurus, because you know, some of you, you may not be getting the acknowledgement by others that you want, uh, possibly because there may be some envy and jealous surrounding you. So, you know, that's, that could definitely be, uh, justice. Oh my goodness. See, I told you make a decision here. Wow. This is, oh, I mean, if we're talking about making a decision, yes. I mean, justice is, you know, you do want to make decisions now. You don't want to wait. Okay. You don't want to wait on, uh, something here, especially when it comes to confidence, health, healing, manifesting something. Okay. I, okay. Hold on. There's a, there, there's another energy that's coming off this. Make a decision here. Libra is associated with the justice card. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, I just get this thing where, I mean, wasn't I talking to you about something here, you know, especially about that, not settling, right? Something was unfair unjust and we even have the justice <sighs> okay we're getting more because this is like karmic like leaving a karmic story behind or just a negative situation okay just leaving that that behind 
<laughs> See? No. Oh my gosh, it's coming out twice. I think you already know. Your intuition already knows. Maybe you just need to see the word no like twice. It's like, you know, ding, 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 right? No. <laughs> it's If it doesn't serve you and it feels off or it feels like it's out of integrity or an alignment of what you value or your moral compass at this time, don't take it. Don't even take it. Because the reason why, Taurus, with the justice and the magician, you could be manifesting someone, too, that's positive, confident. Either way, you're manifesting a new agreement, new terms in life, possibly some new contracts as well. Maybe on the horizon, you may need to look over carefully uh, these contracts. I'm just getting the sword is really popping out here. Hmm. I really see that as ace of swords here. A breakthrough is at hand. If only you make a decision. Don't be afraid to make a decision here. And don't give into too much stress or worry about others. Because really, it's it's based about you. It's based on you. You know? You're the one that's in control of your own ship, so to say. Okay, what else? And I do see like these people over here, or maybe a person that they're, you know, I feel that the doors are closing on them. Hmm. What are we reconsidering? Because you might be going back and forth be, like limbo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You need to reconsider the path that's going to give you the, the, the benefit for your heart, your mind. Let's get more with reconsider. Now, Taurus, if there's someone that's not toxic or negative, or perhaps there was some type of misunderstanding, we may need to reconsider our approach to them or a situation here. But let's get more. Because I, I, I feel that you're in limbo about something or someone. I mean, it's like you're reconsidering the, the experience that you've, all, you've already gone through here. Hmm. See, look at this. It, it really is. I, I got to show you this. I love seeing this improving health because in the middle is the Ace of Cups. Uh, look, Ace of Cups right here. So you need to think things thoroughly and carefully at this time. And I, I'm only saying that only because we got the devil and the three of swords. Those are really challenging cards. Now, a lot of you Taurus, you've been doing a great job. You, you know, with, uh, navigating yourself into personal growth, health, and healing. You just may be still stuck in some type of old energy or something, maybe just feeling stagnant here. Just reconsider right now that these things um, that you may be doing or not doing that improves or not improves your health. Go towards these things that improve your health because it's bringing forth this into your reality. Fulfillment. True love if that's what you want. But it is fulfillment and abundance as well. Yeah, because you might be reconsidering the path that you're taking here. You may be reconsidering not waiting for something or someone, right? Because you may be feeling like you might miss some type of chance here in a sense. Let's continue and see what else comes out for you, Taurus. I don't know if I said uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpios here as well. I'll just say the Zodiac signs. Okay, this one's just popping right on out. My gosh, we got to work really hard. Okay, ooh, yes. The Five of Pentacles, very challenging card, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Whether we took a loss of, uh, you know, of a relationship or illness or finances. I mean, we are, it's not, it's not good. It feels like crap. 
don't let yourself wither away though in a sense here because you know you may have you may still there, there's something about this undying love that i'm getting i'm getting something about an undying love i mean look at the ace of cups there's some type of you know eternal love here the only thing you got to really work at though, and I'm going to tell you, I can tell you it's challenging because the five of pentacles is not a fun place to be or have to go through, but you are being pushed to increase your standards and expect more for yourself. You do not want to settle the place that you f felt comfortable in or where you were actually is not going to give you what you need. It's not giving you sunshine. It's not giving you emotional wealth either to where you feel like you're thriving. You need the water, you need the sunshine. And this is where heaven is taking you. Okay. This is what's behind these doors here behind those decisions that you're making. So five of pentacles, we have to really work hard on not giving into too much negative thinking, too much worry. You have to do whatever you can to fight that. Believe heaven is helping you. You have been praying with that five of pentacle. Uh, yeah. And so accept heaven's help here. Just don't stop believing. Don't stop doing something important here either. Don't give up on something. What else? Alchemy, you have the Midas touch right now. Every project you begin turns to gold. This is really the magician. Okay, so there is this great and huge opportunity to have a very successful outcome. That's what's surrounding you right now. And you do want to be very careful too with how we're feeling and thinking because, you know, this is signifying that you're manifesting quickly, quickly, right? So don't give into negative thinking. Don't compromise what you're, you know, that you're worthy of time to move on. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so that you, the new can come in. See, you're walking through these doors of justice. You are moving on. Because you found your way. See, I feel that you've been swimming a lot in the ocean here. If she was a mermaid, okay? And now you got legs though, because you're done swimming. You've done a deep dive. <laughs> Don't be afraid to really allow things to sh appear for you because heaven is helping you. Heaven knows that you're going through a challenging time where you have to move away from the old and worn out. Okay, what else? It's time to look at other possibilities. It's time to make changes. So maybe we need to tweak some things, make some minor or major adjustments. Maybe it's even tweaking your schedule or uh, maybe there's something about training, traveling. Maybe doing something different, maybe exploring, you know, a new, um, something about sites, maybe oceans or lakes or something like that, okay? Don't get too caught up in only one way. The devil can really be tricky because the devil can make it seem that there's only one way because the ego is trying to figure everything out. And the ego is also possibly trying to protect you as well from getting hurt again, okay? But you've got something more powerful that's going on when it comes to channeling the right energies that's going to give you recovery, health, and healing. And that is through your heart, through your mind, through your spirit, through your strong energy. I really get nine of wands now too with you, which is that um, wounded warrior, but I call it the spiritual warrior, okay? Perseverance is paying off. Let's get a little bit more with, uh, excuse me, let's get more with explore your options for Taurus. And we even have this thing about reconsider, right? Something we need to take a different approach possibly here on improving health. Father healing and let yourself receive 
your personal power increases as you give any father related issues to heaven. So there may be some healing that's going on with a father or father figure here. Um, so it is about healing and allowing yourself re to receive. Allow others to give you loving care. Receive without guilt or apology. So taking a different approach. Because maybe it's hard for you, in a sense, to receive help and support. Especially if we are feeling maybe not, not so adequate. Maybe, you know, energetically, physically, financially. But you have to push that to the side. Because part of you feeling abundant and part of this whole thing about improving health is being able to receive help from others, loving, uh, maybe a, you know, loving care, getting pampered without feeling guilty of taking up someone's time or energy because you deserve it. And it's actually fulfilling for that person as well. I sense emperor coming through. So Aries is showing up with that father healing. What else? Nine of pentacles. Good. Ace of cups is leading you to abundance. I told you. This is exactly the card of abundance. It's also a card of worthiness too. Wow. You go from the five of pentacles to the nine of pentacles. So we've learned something, right? Now, you may have learned a lot for, with this forgiveness of what not to do. Maybe your financial extremes, physical extremes, emotional extremes. I mean, whatever. But we've got something down now. We've learned something about balance. We've learned something about alchemy as well. We've taken our power back or we've summoned some type of power that maybe we didn't even know existed within us. So good for you. Nine of pentacles, you're okay, Taurus. You're okay, but you may need to know and trust your value. I would also say if people are there to help you, you may need to just wean off being too picky in a sense. And I'm not saying that you are, but perhaps with that nine of pentacles, because someone is very successful, very independent, they, they know their stuff. They, when they hire people or they ask for, or they get the help, you know, they could tend to be a little picky because, you know, it may not be to, you know, you're liking 100%, but maybe that's where you just have to take a different approach. Okay. So just take that if it resonates, but I want you to notice the feathers that are nesting around the nine of pentacles. To me, feathers always signifies protection. And look at this. I mean, really, nine of pentacles is your possessions. Um, it is money. It's everything that you've been building up, inner and outer. Okay, what else? So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with that. Yeah, and the hangman. <laughs> yeah, we, gotta, we, we are having to do something a little different. We are having to hang in there. So we may be in a process of sacrificing the unnecessary to gain what's necessary because look at what you're gaining. This to me is also a card of rebirth. And the forgiveness is this awakening. It's like the judgment card. The soul is awakening. I want more too with the hangman. The hangman is a very challenging card, though, too, because it could feel like we are being punished, you know, and it just sucks. It really does. <laughs> but, I mean, in this sense, because I see this five pentacles, let's get more with the hangman. You, Oh, my God, this is so funny. It's so cute. Okay, this blessed change card actually... Um, to me is the hangman too, in a sense, just because the mermaid, if you could see her, she is flipped in another way, upside down, getting a different perspective. Uh, a major life change brings you great blessings. So you just need to hang in there. Remember I was talking about the nine of wands, which is a card of perseverance. See, you may be feeling like you're, you're having to just hold out for something here. 
Hmm. Now it is all about perspective. Okay. Oh, you're just taking, okay. And, and right now, and I'm not saying that you weren't doing this before anyhow, but make sure anyways, because we got that magician, we're powerfully manifesting literally really quickly right now with speed. So you're just doing things that really authentically speaks to your soul because you're not playing it small or you're not going to be filtered with other people's uh, BS either. I don't know. I just feel like saying that. <laughs> I just feel like saying that. Bless change. Okay. What else? This major life changes is coming. It's coming in a way that you don't expect. So this is why we may have a little challenge with it because we may not uh, have felt prepared for it in a sense, or that we had control <laughs> about it. Right. Uh, but that's okay. Oh, the lovers. Mm. I knew I was feeling something about a undying love, a internal love here. There's a strong spiritual soulmate or a very strong soulmate. I was even getting six of cups over here too. So this is just more of an indicator here that you're on the path of true love or um, if you're already currently in a serious relationship, obviously you are in the process of bringing your relationship to heightened um, new experiences. But there's many of you, look at this, you're in a process of, you're in a, a feeling of separation here with that three of swords. Your time is coming. Um, absolutely, you want to do things right now that aligns with your integrity, your self-worth, because the lovers is bringing you a deep and intimate bond. You've struggled enough, and now you're aligning with another power a uh, person here that is good for you. So don't push it away. Don't hold on to something too tight here. You you may need to let go of the swords that have really, you know, poked that heart. Because we may even want to take those swords and throw them back, right? <laughs> but don't worry because heaven has the answers here. Okay, heaven is um balancing something karmically here for you. Your choices matter. Your decisions matter here. Something is important. Something absolutely important is happening here with an opportunity of a lifetime. Gemini is coming through. I think I said that. Okay, what else? Mm-hmm. Something needs closure. This is coming to an end. Okay, if you if you feel that you've already deserted a bad situation, then good for you. Now, if you need a sign, this is your sign, Taurus. I know that it can be challenging because sometimes we don't, we're not prepared for something to, you know, change or end, you know, especially when it's not on our terms. But there is this real need for closure to accept some type of change um, to be the change. This is Scorpio. There's a lot of power with this uh, death card here. I was talking about your rebirth is assured here. So, you know, there's nothing more for you to gain from whatever is old and worn out. But you can really rest assured that I don't know what's going on here with you and your love life or you know, something very significant when it comes to a um, union but you're getting exactly what you want. You are. Let it appear. Because it's going to appear um, quicker than you think. What else? Oh, look at this. You're a born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. The magician... Hmm. So if you're self-employed or maybe you've been questioning whether to embark on some type of self-employment journey, do it. Take action on that. Okay. Be open to helpful people. Be open to collaborating possibly here. But there is something about you believing in your powers, your abilities to, you know, gain, sustain, and what else? Make more. I don't know. 
I mean, really, you are doing a good job here with this self-employment, or maybe there's something strong about employment. I sense eight of pentacles with this, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is just really signifying whether, you know, you resonate with an employment or not. This is really signifying, um, you know, getting to a place where you're mastering something really important for yourself. And you could be assured that you are achieving some type of tangible success along with it. You may even have an opportunity to take your business or job to the next level uh, with the justice there. I want to be surprised if possibly we see um, Ace of Pentacles. Possibly. I see the big happy changes as a will of fortune. But we'll continue and see what else for you. Oh, this is this is another indication here that you are not left alone, Taurus. <laughs> Even when you felt alone, my goodness, you, oh, you're not. Angels do speak to you. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. Another card of divine magic, the magician here. Allowing yourself to receive. What else? So spend some time alone meditating upon what you truly desire. It's going to be important and it's going to help you focus here and utilize an intention and watch things start happening for you. Watch the clarity that kind of takes over if you're not feeling it. You may need to uh, create some space, maybe 10 minutes, a half hour. I would say at least an hour, you know, daily if you can until you, you really know what you truly desire because when you know what you truly desire, you're harnessing the magician. And then it's easy to see things clearly. It's easy to make fair decisions based on, you know, the situation, the facts, whatever. What else? So this hangman to me is you taking that time reinventing your desires or yourself consult an expert some of you may need to hire help you may need to ask for an expert to help you maybe with healing maybe with something uh self uh, you know employment here or work don't be afraid to consult an expert let's see what else we can get with that Oh, make a wish. Hmm. I sense the king of swords here. There is definitely a boss-like energy, some entrepreneur type of energy, or it could just be that um, consult an expert to help you see um, and remain objective about the situation or get a, some, some type of legal advice for you Tauruses out there. There's something about law here. Anyhow, more information is needed. Contact someone. Okay, helpful people. Okay, you do need to. Um, I just feel like you are up leveling in status here. So it's like, you know, you 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 are cutting some duties or obligations out here to give more power into something else that's going to give you um, a more abundance, actually. So this is a magical moment. Make a wish. Enjoy its manifestation. Now, if you feel that you've been taking on things that maybe you can hire help, do that. And then believe that this is a magical moment. Another thing about magical moment, Taurus, there's a lot about magician energy surrounding you right now. I mean, you have the Midas touch right now. Every project you begin turns to gold. The Nine of Pentacles is your fortune here. Turn into gold. <laughs> okay, let's see. What else? Okay, Taurus. Jeez, the, I mean, come on, manifesting. Another card about manifesting. Music, see, we we're talking about music earlier. To manifest rapidly, think of your desire while you chant, hum, sing, or play music. 
you know, music can quickly shift your mood if you're willing to navigate yourself to do it, you know, because sometimes it can be easy to give in to complaining or feeling bad or moody. Um, but if you listen to music, it could quickly shift your energy, make you feel good. So something is just like around the corner here. Literally something and someone can manifest right before your eyes. Most likely someone. <laughs> okay, what else? Oh, the bottom wants to show itself. Say morning affirmations, okay, or nighttime affirmations too. Say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation because you're manifesting rapidly right now. You can't afford to give in to negative self-talk or thinking or others' complaints right now either or their woes or, you know, their uh, thoughts on what's not possible in life. You can't afford that. You are in a place of saying positive affirmations and building your wealth from the inside out. So it is worth um, integrating some type of prayer, affirmations, visualizations. Again, I was talking about cutting out an hour, an hour a day if you can, to give into this, to give to yourself here. You're not bound by anything either, so I feel that there's a real sense of relief and freedom. So when you feel the energy, take hold and work with it. When it feels good and right and you do have energy, take it, utilize it. That's when you take action. What else? Nope. Okay, that's it. So Taurus, let's find out how spirit is currently helping you that you need to be aware of. Taurus, this is another thing about, yes, uh, this is another thing about your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. Spirit's helping you having your, you know, faith be unbreakable, unshakable, unassailable. Stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. See, I knew I was getting nine of wands. The nine of wands is ex exhaustion. We, wa we want to quit. <laughs> We're tired. We're feeling like we've been beat up to hell, probably hell and back, right? Oh, my God. I just pointed out that devil, hell and back. But your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs because... Heaven is absolutely helping you. And it seems like there's like an army of angels. Okay. All right. Let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future. Oh, look, self-forgiveness. Remember that card forgiveness that we got? What you have to look forward to in the near future is relieving yourself of any type of old guilt. See that old and worn out, you're letting it go. And you're, you're remembering that you're God's perfect child. Hmm. This is, again, a place of powerfulness, feeling empowered, feeling safe to be powerful, feeling awake, and feeling a new beginning as well. See, you're not holding on to anything that doesn't serve you, your purpose. Let's see if we get one more for what you have to look forward to in the near future. Oh, rest. Okay, let's see. One more. Pay attention. Okay, so it's mostly like this energy here. You've been working hard, Taurus. Take a nap and get some rest. Okay, so don't be too hard on yourself. It's, you know, that devil card to me is someone that's hard on themselves. You might be expecting perfection from yourself too much you may be expecting yourself to handle everything okay hire some help four of swords is what i see with rest so you're going to be taking more time to nap to contemplate um, and you're going to be seeing synchronicities which is fitting because you got that big happy changes which is to me that for will of fortune. So notice repetitious signs and your inner guidance as this can yield valuable information. This is a uh, hangman. So you may feel a little stuck, but what's happening is getting profound insight guidance from the heavens above. Cause obviously they're surrounding you big time with how much 
we've got with the messages coming out pretty much synchronistically about miracles and manifestation and your prayers being heard. You, you know, you cannot be ignored. Heaven cannot ignore you. All right. So I hope that this was helpful. Love and light.